I'm Lee, welcome to iMind Blocks. In this video, I'm going to be covering the initial setup and usage of these little gizmos, which are the Open Dime Bitcoin hardware wallets. So, these devices is essentially a hardware version of a paper wallet. What you can do is generate a Bitcoin address using these little USB devices, but you can't access it without, unless you break the seal which is on the back of the device. So I'll show you, you now. Hopefully you can see on this camera. If not, I'll give you a close-up look using another camera. So this is the main device here, and it's just like a USB uh, pen stick. The same sort of dimensions as any other pen drive, really. So just getting a close-up here using a different camera so you guys can see a few of the details on the uh, device. So if I flip it around the other way, you can kind of see. Also, there's sort of a scaling of it it's just like a usb pen drive same sort of uh, dimensions i think the exact dimensions are is uh 47 millimeters long you can see i'm using version 3 of the device and it's also revision a so that is the newest version of the open dion bitcoin hardware wallet and if i just uh, flip it over so you've got the main logo on the back and also the sort of uh the seal to be broken, which reveals your uh, private keys for the hardware wallet. Um, and on the back, you've got the logo, and there is a kind of a little seal there, which you need to kind of break this plastic off and then pop this seal. And that's what will re reveal the private keys to this device. So what you can do with this device is uh, plug it in, generate a Bitcoin address, you can top funds to it, and then no one can access those funds unless they have this physical device in hand and then you can't even send any of those funds out you can't access those funds unless you break the seal on the back which reveals your private keys and then you can send the funds out from this device onwards so this is quite good if you want to use it as a gift or you can um, use it for transactions for example I could put some funds onto this device someone could just take this device almost as a physical Bitcoin they could plug it in they could verify that their Bitcoin is on the device effectively or you know within the network and um, but they won't be able to spend it unless they actually break that seal so it's a good way to um, pass bitcoin physically from one person to another or also just for safe storage and safe keeping so what i'm going to do for the rest of this video is i'm going to be going through it for the first time showing the setup of it how to use it and how to get started uh, with this device so i'm going to plug it in now i'll cut away to another camera so you can guys can see the, the kind of the plug-in and what it looks like when it's in the usb port it does have um a couple of uh, colored leds on there so i've just plugged it in there now i'm just going to plug it into the usb hub so you can see the uh, operation of it working so you've got a green activity light there's also a red led as well um, and I believe that is when you're interacting with the device, uh, reading and writing to and from it. And if I go to my computer, and hopefully it pops up as a USB device, I can see it there, drive H, and let me just minimize that window there. So the instructions are, you can go to opendime.com forward slash start, there's some basic instructions on there. It says uh, plug into USB, go to index.htm and follow the steps. So we've plugged in the device and we can see the index.htm file. So it's just a, a web page. We'll open that up. I'm going to open it up with um, Chrome. I like doing everything with Chrome. So we've got a terms of conditions. We'll agree to that. So, so what it says is open your file explorer and then copy a file to the device of at least 256 uh, kilobytes. Once the total is reached, you'll see the light blinking quickly and the device will eject by itself. Then we can reload this page and we should see our generated Bitcoin address. So let's copy a file to this. So I'll use a um, a picture of some some description. Let's have a look at what we've got. Um, I'll obscure this because there's some other private pictures and things, but I'll just use uh, one of my own pictures, so it'll be a picture that I can or have some sort of um, control over, and that's going to generate our um, address. This picture. So I'm going to copy that to the device. 
Um, okay, so that has transferred or partially copied and also failed, which is, I think it, that is a normal process. And the device has been ejected and then reset, I believe. So now if we reload this page, so we're gonna just press F5. Okay, and now we can see our Bitcoin address has been generated. So we've got a QR code and we've got a manual um, address there. So that is our Bitcoin address uh, has been generated. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna unplug the device, plug it back in and just show you that the, that address is, is the same address and it's still on there. So just unplugged it and I will also close that window. And now I'll just plug in the device back in. Pop it in there and go back to the drive. I was just wondering what else um, kind of popped up on the drive also. So you can see we've got a text file with the address. It also says private key.txt and at this point um, that should not apply I don't think. I don't think that's relevant but I will check it and see um, how that is done. Um, so let's have a look at the text files. Let's see what's in here. So we've got our Bitcoin address at the top there. We've got it's going to open Firefox now, unfortunately. Let's close that. Sorry. We'll open that in Chrome also. So the same page as it was before, QR code and same address. And let's just have a look at this private key. See what's in there. It shouldn't actually have the private key. Okay, so it says sealed. See the readme uh, for details. Okay, and then we've got a QR code image of our Bitcoin address as well, presumably. So let's have a look at that. Okay, great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my phone and I'm going to transfer some Bitcoin to this new address. And then what we'll do is we'll come back. Um, I'll go through the process of breaking the seal to reveal the private keys. Uh, and, you know, and that will show you how you would then send those uh, funds out. So let's send some funds to this address. I'm going to use uh, an app on my phone. Okay, so I've just sent some funds over and that should show up on the blockchain soon. So if we go to check balance now um, and we'll see what opens up. I'm not sure if that will show up just yet. Okay, so that's uh, gone through. So I sent over 0.001 Bitcoin, approximately $12. Um, and that's uh, that'll be recorded onto the blockchain network, but you can't access it at the moment, obviously not enough. Um, Bitcoin confirmations just yet. So that is the basic process of it. So now I could use that device and we could just hand hand the device out to another person and say, there you go, there's your uh, 1000 bits, 0.001 Bitcoin. They could use that and you could just transfer the hand that round. It was almost as if it's like a physical uh, version of Bitcoin amount. They could plug it in, verify it. That's quite a cool process. So now let's look at the unsealing of the device and how we would reveal our private keys, assuming we want to access the funds that's actually on the device. Okay, so now we're gonna go through and break the seal on the device. So you're gonna need either a drawing pin or a panel push pin like this, what you'd put into a cork board. Um, I thought you maybe could do it with um, either a blade or a, like a ballpoint pen, but that's not, that's not possible. So what you need to do is, I've already taken a little bit of the plastic off, you're not too sure if you need to do that. Depending on the version, you might find that you can just go straight through the plastic. But what I'm gonna do is push the pin through the, the plastic effectively, through the hole, and it goes all the way through the PCB and out the other side and breaks this component just on this end piece here, which I believe is, um, I think it's a resistor, I'm not too sure. But you go through the whole board entirely to break the seal. So let's do that now and hopefully I won't prick my finger or my thumb and that would be bad. So it takes quite a bit of force to get through and I think we're just through, oh yeah we are. So it does take quite a bit of force, be careful with your fingers, um, but we are all the way through there. Hopefully you guys can see that. So that is done. Um, what it is, I'll just take a picture so you guys can see what that looks like uh, also. So I've pushed the push pin all the way through the board you can see it comes out the other side and kind of breaks that little device off there. Right, so now I shall remove the pin. And now I'm gonna plug it back in and see whether 
our seal has been broken. Um, let's put it in the right way, keep putting it in the wrong way. Um, so if I just refresh this page, I think that should work. Okay, so you can see right at the very top, unsealed, do not send more funds to this address or accept hardware as a payment. So we can see clearly the seal has been broken. Also, we've got further down, uh, we've got the QR code and we've also got the private key. So uh, this part, I'm obviously gonna obscure this little section here. So we can also see our Bitcoin address further down. And if we go to the device uh, in the Explorer, we'll have a look here. So we've got the addresses as before, we've also got this private key. So this should have updated now, so I'll just open that. Obviously I'm gonna obscure it as well, to keep it private. Yep, and now we can see in a text format, the private key is there opened and available. So at this point, we could use those details to import into another device or wallet um, or to access and spend those funds. So at this point, it's open and can be used. So at this point, we could still transfer funds to the device, but obviously it's not um, as secure uh, from this point onwards. Okay, so that's it, me getting started with the Open Dime Bitcoin wallet. Hopefully you've uh, enjoyed watching, learning how to use this device and get set up and started with it. Um, if you want to buy one, I'll put a link in the uh, description. In terms of price, they're a little bit pricey if you consider them to be disposable. Um, I think when I ordered them, they was um, about $45 um, for a pack of three. Um, but also remember that you might have to pay import duties. I had to pay import duties and also there was a handling fee uh, by the post office uh, for my as well. So uh, consider that also. So any questions or comments, uh, leave those in the comments area below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Till next one, see ya.